Last time on Dragon Ball Z. I will not admit Fusion felt awesome. Why is the game like this? Let him have the Marvin. It's quality, quality not, not quantity. I win, you fool. No more loud mouth. Hey guys, Saxdo26 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legacy of Goku 3 Inside of Boo's Stomach. Sure, we'll go with that. Wow, it doesn't get any more disgusting than this. At least the barrier held up. Boo wasn't able to totally absorb me. Yeah, but there's cake and Jaffa's everywhere. The others are still in here, I can feel it, but where? Well, I mean, I... Oh, okay. I don't get it. Our bodies separated when we let the barrier down. I was told that once we were joined by the earrings, we could never separate. Goku, I've got a list of things to talk about, and that's number three on that list. I guess we lucked out. I'm me and you're you. That's the way I like it. On a train in the cold with a mind-numbing headache. Get out of here, earring. That's a reference. What did you do that for? Why do you destroy everything you touch, Vegeta? I like being the captain of my own ship. Better Kakarot. Now shut up and get in that save point. Journal entry. Find Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo. Yes, all four of them individually. That's also on the list. The first thing I want to talk about is the fact that you may be noticing that the music sounds very different to anything we've heard in this game up to this point. And if you own a copy of this game, you may have also noticed it's not in the actual soundtrack. I've been deciding for a long time whether or not I want to keep the music for this part the same as it is, or if I wanted to change it up. And a game I've been avoiding has been Dragon Ball Z Taiketsu, which has a unique track for when you fight inside Majin Buu's body. I've subbed in that music in place of what's actually here, and that's going to be the visible and public version of this video. There'll be a card on screen right now that links to an unlisted version that uses the music that's actually in-game. But regardless, the public version of this video is going to be the Taiketsu one so that it's more relevant to the things I'm going to talk about in Boo's stomach. So, there's Jaffas and cakes everywhere, and um, yeah. The journal entry we were given said that we had to find Gohan, Goten, Trunks, and Piccolo, because as everyone's been in uh, Boo's body, the enzymes and blood cells and all of the, um, the immune system has been working away hard with the, the new intruders that have been caked and thrown in here. And that includes the period of the fusion dance for Goten and Trunks running out while they're inside Super Boo. Which means in the anime and manga, after 30 minutes, or in the terms of the game's equivalent, five minutes, uh, the fusion dance ran out and Super Boo turned into his Piccolo form until he absorbed Gohan. But yeah, we never got that in uh, Boo's Fury for some reason. Ooh, yes, there's an enzyme. Enzyme, and then there's an enzyme sack. It's a blister, but it's... I mean, if you had a blister on the inside, yeah, but I mean, yeah, it's an enzyme sack, effectively. They take a lot of hits. Not good. There's an enzyme on my head. Some geeky stuff here in the middle of the everything. But, on the upside... You can rack up a lot of hits with the final flash on top of all of those enzymes. Or you can just punch them, that works too. And yeah! We're still getting zenny from things inside of Boo's stomach while we're in here. And yeah, that sweet waterfall effect from HFIL that was used for the blood fountain is being used here as well. Now I believe on this side there is actually some stuff I can go for, so I'm just going to check here first before I take the right path. And yeah, Vegeta is level 141! So, yeah, there's a, there's a Piccolo version of Super Boo, uh, where he's wearing the Piccolo gear with the shoulder pads and the turban. All of the chocolate. And yeah, uh, <laughs> after all of the time that I spent grinding away and getting Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan to the right level just to advance the plot, I felt like for the public version of this video, I kind of earned the right to do whatever the heck I wanted with the music. But I mean, hey, there are two versions of the video, and it gives me a good segue to talk about Taiketsu, which, honestly, the space where you fight in Boo's stomach is a little more indicative of this screen here, but a little more red. I do quite like it, though, and the music is pretty nice. A lot of the soundtrack for Taiketsu, in fact, all of it, was composed by Yanis Brown, who did the, um, the arrangements for Legacy of Goku 2 and Boo's Fury. 
So, um, you actually hear quite a lot of arrangements that have those familiar instruments and rhythms to them. In fact, there's actually one track that plays, uh, which is actually featured in the credits sequence of Legacy of Goku 2. I think from memory it's either The Wasteland or Orange Star City. I'll have an annotation clarifying which one it actually is, but regardless, the Taiketsu soundtrack goes pretty hard. There's an even more rock-heavy guitar version of the theme that plays on the airships and when Great Saiyaman is fighting the Red Shark getting in the Hercule City. But I don't think I'd ever do Taiketsu for the channel, and the main reason for that is... Oh golly, he got a hit combo, however those work. Something's happening. Am I spirit bombing? Okay. Yeah, I've got no... Here's ultimate challenge. The... It's honestly borderline embarrassing. I'm, I'm not reading that out loud. When you work out how to play the game, you can break it to a point that the difficulty in the game sort of falls apart very easily. <laughs> now, if we hit that main artery there, it bursts open the valve, which is pretty cool. At least I think it's a... it might be an artery, it might be a vein, I'm not sure what it is, regardless. And yeah, so Taiketsu is a game, it's got music that's done by the same composer of the Legacy of Goku 2 and Boost Fury arrangements, and I don't quite like it, but it's not a game I go back to at all. So yeah, for those of you who've never heard of Taiketsu, I know, Taiketsu, never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> kind of infamous, honestly, is, but I think the one thing that is unapologetically good is the music. The music actually gets a very bad rap for unnecessary reasons. Now, I believe I can rack up tons and tons of enzymes to show up on screen, and then I can basically just final flash them all into oblivion. I believe that's a thing I can do. Like that. Yeah! And that is incredibly satisfying to watch. I do quite like doing that. And then if I go this way... There we go, and back to the blister, die you blister, gonna power down, gonna attack the blister, there we go, awesome. So, we've talked about Taiketsu a little bit, and I said the fact that Goten and Trunks are separated was one of the other things on the list. Uh, the third thing I wanted to talk about was <laughs> Goku saying, I thought that when we fused with the Patora earrings that was a permanent fusion. Um, well, that gets very seriously debunked in Dragon Ball Super for being inaccurate uh, because Old Kai was of this understanding because he used himself as the evidence for that. And when he fused with um, an evil witch uh, who took off one of his earrings and stole it and then they fused together, uh, that was a permanent fusion because the witch who stole said earring was actually of the Kai race. Mm. If you are a member of the Kai race, which includes Kabito, um, even though he is an aide to Supreme Kai, that, that fusion is permanent. But if you are any other species, the Tori earring fusion will behave kind of similar to the fusion dance. But it only lasts for an hour, as opposed to the half hour of the fusion dance. So, to put that into perspective, during the fight with Super Vu, they stayed together for the whole thing. That's about two to three episodes. Ooh, he is a caterpillar. I can scan the body and I can scan the tail. Yeah. So then Vegito let himself be absorbed and kept up the impenetrable barrier so that he could get inside Boo and try and get the others out. When he let down the barrier, it looked like letting down the barrier was what made him defuse. Level 145, we're making some pretty good progress here. Cool beans. Um, actually, I forgot some more. Yeah, yeah, there's the heart in this. Um, which, yeah, basically means that when Vegito let down the impenetrable barrier when they got inside um, Majin Buu, and then they the fusion separated, hilariously, that wasn't Boo's digestive system breaking the two of them down into their individual parts, because if that were the case, Goten and Trunks would have been separated from Gotenks into their individual parts the second they were absorbed, and we would have only fought Piccolo Boo. The reality is, 
At the point where he let down the barrier, the two of them had been fused for exactly one hour. Not even kidding. <laughs> the fight had been going on for a couple of episodes, which rounds out to about an hour long fight. If Boo hadn't absorbed them and they destroyed Boo, they would have won just before defusing. Vegito knew that he needed to get the others out because it might kill them in the process. And this doesn't get confirmed in the entirety of the Dragon Ball canon until Dragon Ball Super when they use the Patora earrings again. It's frigging hilarious. A bit annoying that uh, Vegeta destroyed that earring. Oh, Dragon Tail, we need that for the guy at the lighthouse. And um, Supreme Kai and Kibito turning into Kibito Shin or Kibito Kai. I, I love that because of those are the examples, until Super it is implied that's a permanent fusion. That to me is hilarious. Anywho, gonna keep on traveling. Now, is there a path we can go up from here? No, that's locked. Oh, but that's right, there was... Ah, uh, nonsense. Ah, uh, nonsense. Ah, uh, nonsense. Now, does that count as a separate... No, it turns into a head. Okay. I'm not fond of trying to fight these guys any way other than punch the head, because if I punch the head, then it just goes down the whole body. And I don't like fighting them any other way. Come on. Because then that happens. Uh. A little bit more misinformed. What was the other thing I wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, there's probably one cast member of the secondary characters who you may or may not have noticed has been strangely absent from the events of this game, even as a sideline character. In fact, Two, if I really think about it. And that would be Tien and Chiaotzu, because at the end of um, Legacy of Goku 2, they go off to start training because Tien wants to set up his own dojo in the same vein of uh, Master Crane and the Crane School, but with the more kind-hearted and more innate wisdom that he has gained from having traveled and fought with Goku and the other Z-Warriors. So... We do actually see Tien during the fight with Boo, because when Gohan gets ab uh, it's either when Gohan gets absorbed or when Gotenks gets absorbed, Tien actually shows up to try and fight off against Boo. Now I don't rightly remember if he gets absorbed, I feel like he doesn't, but again, a lot of people got absorbed at the moment so it's very hard to keep track of them. Um, but regardless, Tien tries to take on some form of Super Boo. I remember that much specifically. But again, because they have changed things up a little bit, we don't see that interaction here. And if I remember correctly, ooh, is that dragon milk to go with the dragon tail? Dinosaur milk, yeah. That's what I meant. Dragons and dinosaurs are different, Molly. Get it right. Point being. I believe we do still see Tien and Chiaotzu before the end of the game, but yeah, we're not going to see them in the immediate future, where they would normally first appear in the um, in the source material. Regardless, that popped into my mind the other day, and I'm like, huh, Tien and Chiaotzu really were very sidelined for most of that red blood cell completely glitched. When blood glitches, that's unusual. Okay, Goku's level 144. We're getting some decent training going on here. Da, 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 da. There we go. And I don't even have weighted clothing on at the moment. I took that off because once I did all of the level grinding, I was kind of like, yeah, no, I'm not in the mood for that anymore. But yeah. Where are we going now? Ooh, this is a very open room with a worm. Open room with a worm. Open room with a. Uh. You remind me way too much of the Kizu in Monster Hunter, and it makes me very uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, that that was separate, separate damage, I think. Uh. Come on, there we go. I mean, that was pretty decent. That was pretty decent. Ben oh, yeah, I can't do that. So, cool. Just like the generators in Northern Mountains, we've done this kind of shtick before. But yeah, um. Goku and Vegeta going through Boo's stomach. It's uh, quite an interesting setting. Um, to be fair, in Legacy of Goku 1, because of the fact that we fought Princess Snake on Snake Way, it means we never got to go through the period in the actual episode with her where she swallows Goku and Goku has to fight his way out of her stomach. Based on this, 
I'm kind of glad. But I will say, as tedious as it is, it's nowhere near as tedious as Barbadie's ship, because Barbadie's ship was just obnoxious levels of tedious, and the only thing I've been bothered with at the moment is, you know, playing soccer against the wall with this caterpillar's head. They call him Dr. Worm. He's inside of Boo's stomach. He's a worm. I hit him in the head. But actually in the body, then each head becomes the body of the actual worm. Okay, now that that room's cleared out, level 147. Awesome. Alright, let's save. Now that we've dealt with all of that nonsense, what do we have through this valve? Whoa. Now we're in the intestines. Oh golly, we've ended up in Buttville. It looks like we've merged our way into the Earthworm Gym mythos. Ah. I'm actually curious now whether the Earthworm Gym videos will be up before or after this part's edited. We'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Definitely, um... Ooh! I found a leather belt! <laughs> I found a leather belt inside Boo's lower intestine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Please don't tell me that it's a dirty belt. Goodness, that <laughs> game, no, rude. That's 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 <laughs> oh, you couldn't plan this if you tried. <laughs> that's freaking hilarious. Oh, hey boys, it's you're alive and well. Let's get out of here. The sooner the better. Oh, oh no, oh no. And I can't scan him either. Good golly. Ah, yes, my son. With less of a soul than me. Now I should crash him into oblivion. You honestly think it was smart going into a fight on your own? I've already made that mistake way too many times. I'll teach you a lesson, young man. So yeah, um, we're fighting Gotenks inside of Boo. And you're probably looking at this going, what on earth is happening here? Oh, my son, he melted into the floor. What is this? Well, because of the fact that Goten and Trunks are still here in these pods, it means that inside, Boo's immune system has access to their cells, treating Vegeta and Goku as intruders or a disease. It's using the cells of Goten and Trunks here to generate a clone of Gotenks to fight us. And further on here, Gohan, is that you? Wait, I can tell by looking in your eyes. You're not Gohan, you're a fake. How dare. I can actually scan him though. And oh boy, he has a lot of health. Think you can punch the Prince of all Saiyans? I'll teach you a lesson. I've tolerated your father enough. Him and his nonsense. The final flash may have not been enough for Cell, but it'll be enough for you, young man. But yeah, and because of the fact that Boo cannot tap into the full strength of the people that is absorbed um, to make these clones, it does mean that Gohan is a little easier to fight than the real thing. Because again, Vegeta was able to take him down. And he's reached level 148. Cusses. Uh, boom. Nope, hang on. There, there. Awesome. So we press on, and there's a pod with Gohan. And we keep going, which means there's only one other person left that I'm thinking of. Piccolo. Interesting. Let me guess, another fake, you're going down. But yeah, when we scanned Piccolo all the way at the start of the game and his health was so high, it's actually because of this fight. Okay, fine then. Have fun with that. You're not gonna fight me? With energy attacks? Fine. Just blow you up against the wall. This is fun. I can do this all day, Piccolo. You really think punching me is a good idea? Don't even try it, Piccolo. 
You have a lot of nerve trying to have the highest HP out of everyone I've fought up to this point. I mean, it's kind of interesting that none of the clones use any energy attacks. But I mean, hey, it is what it is. And he melts into the floor like the rest of them. And there's the Piccolo pod. Okay. And a save point. Ooh. That says to me, it might be worthwhile. Switching back to Goku. So, what do we have through here? Headbutting the wall, apparently. We're in the brain, which we got to through the lower intestine. Because that makes sense. Can you feel it? Freeing those pods is making Goo's power level decrease dramatically. Yeah, so as they've been going through, they've been taking those pods and just ripping them out from Goo's insides. So one, he doesn't have access to the cells anymore. But two, because it's severing his connection to everyone has absorbed and therefore not giving him their power. Yeah, he's changing back to normal. What a difference. Now let's blast our way out. Wait a second, Vegeta. Even though he's a lot weaker now, we're still no match for him. There's only one way we can win. Oh, let me guess. It's a word that starts with F and ends with N, am I right? F is for friends who do stuff together, but Kakarot's not my friend. Hey, good guess. No way, I'm not going to do another fusion with you. That dance is not fit for a Saiyan warrior. It's too... Prissy. <laughs> Come on, embrace your delicate side. You've done it before, Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta, it's not like anyone will see us. That was the argument I used last time. Kakarot, look ahead, you're not going to believe this. And there, a pod with Majin Buu. Yes, I can see that, but what does it mean? Who knows? How can he absorb himself? It doesn't make any sense. Wow, this is deep. So deep, in fact, that we went through his intestine and ended up in his brain. These are all fascinating questions. However, I have a question of my own. Why aren't you jerks been absorbed yet? How can you be inside your own body? You freaks! You're mine! We're the freaks. You just went through your butt into your brain. Okay, sure. If you say so. I mean, uh, interesting. Now, Boo, yeah, Boo doesn't show up there in the thing. E. E. Not in the mood. Boo. And you're trying to turn me into chocolate inside your stomach. What, are you going to double eat me? That makes no sense. I'm not in the mood for you, boo. I said I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna punch you in the face. I'm gonna punch you in the face. Eat the Kamehameha! Not in the mood for your nonsense. Get out of my way. I'm gonna punch you so hard you'll end up in your own brain. Oh boy, Super Saiyan 3 takes a lot out of Goku. That's um, it's a hefty way to do things. But damn, the knockback from the Kamehameha wave level 2. Not level 3, level 2, because we haven't unlocked level 3 yet. And I'm still probably going to stick to level 2 until... Oh, great. Stomachception. Stomach in brainception. Um, let's see. Turkey? There we go. Thank you. Fine, we'll just stick to regular Super Saiyan then, because I can punch you enough that that gets me more of my energy back. Golly, I'm just bouncing him around all over the place like a pinball. Three course meal, sure, why not? I've got him pinned. There's nothing he can do. Except melt into the floor. Like everyone else that we've beaten the guitar out of. And with that, Goku reaches level 147. Awesome! And then he goes over there to scream. No! What have you done? I'm not going to be me anymore, do you understand? What are you blabbering about? That's a good question, but he's exploding in his own gut. I'm not sure if that's indigestion or a headache. Yeah, he's exploding. This isn't good. We have to get out of here, Kakarot. I 
you guys see daylight through that hole up ahead. You know, considering the fact that we went through the intestine to get here, escape from Majin Buu, um, I, I don't know what hole you're speaking of. But we're in the brain. So, like... Uh, I don't know. Fine. What a revolting experience. Oh, Vegeta, it wasn't that bad. Speak for yourself, Kakarot. You know something funny? Yeah, how can his power be increasing instead of decreasing? If this keeps up, he'll be stronger than he was before. We better find someplace safe for these people pods. Go on, wake up. At least they're alive. However, things are about to go from bad to worse, because Super Boo minus Good Boo does not equal Evil Boo. No. It's something much worse. He's regressed to pure evil. What's the deal? He looks like a little kid. I bet I could beat him up now. I have a feeling that would be a really bad idea. Goku and Vegeta face their greatest challenge yet. Can they beat it? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z.